Okay, so what you're looking at is my ugly sweater that I wore for the ugly sweater race. So I have two little gingerbread squishies on there and as you can see one hasn't made it to the finish line. He's barely there but he's not there yet and the other squishy has passed the finish line and he has his medal. And this is just my little doodle book and this is what I'm thinking. Um, I've never done a squishy makeover so they may not look anything like this but this is the goal. Okay so I got these two squishies at the dollar store so I mean they're nothing of great quality anyway. Um, there's a lot of ripping that's already going on. Even before I glued them onto the sweater I did use some, some sandpaper and kind of went over all of them just to hopefully make sure that the paint sticks. And so now I'm just going to try to clean up these edges a little bit. They kind of stick out kind of far. So that's what I'm going to do first. Okay, here I go, adding the slip paint. I think I'm going to start with this one. So basically I'm just going, going to do this over the whole squishy, both of them. So I'll turn the video back on when I'm done doing that. And okay. it dries. So here they are, it's the next day. And so they're looking pretty rough. Um, I started painting the pants on the man and his shirt. I'm going to have to make the gray a little bit lighter, I don't like that color. And here's the woman, and she got glued to that thingy, and I'm working on her little dress. Well, she's not really wearing a dress because I didn't know how to make a dress on a gingerbread woman. So she's wearing a white suit. Yeah, I have a lot, a lot of work to do. They look pretty rough. It's definitely not as easy as it looks. So I painted his shirt and I went over his pants again with another coat of black. Um, these are so hard to paint. It's like if you use a paintbrush, you put it down and you try to smooth out the bumps and it just rips off the paint again. And so it's very kind of very bumpy. But hopefully when it's all said and done, it will look much better. So there's both of them. There are both of them. They're both drying. This is a lot more frustrating than I thought it would ever be, but hopefully they turn out very cute. So this is day six, and this is what I have so far. Um, I've added so many layers of paint, and I wait four hours, let it dry, add more paint, dry paint, dry paint. It's taking forever, as you can see, if we're on day six. Um, they're looking cute. I'm not a big fan of that brown. I wish it was a lighter shade, but they're cute. I've added his face. That's what he looks like. I need to add her face and her veil. That's what she looks like. So I'm almost done. And I'm excited. They're pretty cute. Not perfect, but they're cute. Okay, so as you can see, this was my original idea. She does have a veil. So, my goal is to add a veil on her. So this may turn out really cute or maybe really silly, I don't know. So here is a dryer sheet. And I'm going to cut it and glue it and make it a veil. So look how cute they are.
So here's my original idea. Here are the squishies. I think they turned out super cute. 